Elibariki Sheila's mission is to spread blockchain technology knowledge. He created one of the very few crypto learning hubs in Tanzania. For the last six years, he has taught over 5,000 people in Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, South Africa, Ghana, Gambia, Rwanda, Burundi, and Congo. He says he uses physical meetings, events, and online video conferencing platforms to equip crypto enthusiasts with more resources to thrive and make money. What we are doing is basically to uh, to make people aware that uh, cryptocurrency blockchain is real and you can make money once you have uh, the right information and the right strategies then you can make money so we still have uh, that challenge people want to make quick money people don't want to sit down and learn in November 2021, the Tanzanian Central Bank announced it was looking to allowing cryptocurrency trading in the country and that it couldn't ignore the technological advancement of money. AAA, a Singaporean cryptocurrency research firm, estimates that 11.7 .7 million East Africans own cryptocurrencies, 6.1 million in Kenya, 2.3 million in Tanzania, and 2 million in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Nigeria became one of the first countries in the world and the first in Africa to launch its own central bank digital currency, dubbed the E-Naira, back in October of 2021. According to media reports, the E-Naira saw over 400,000 new wallets registered with 12,000 transactions worth $11,000 in less than two weeks of launch. Elibariki says he's hopeful now that the Tanzanian government is getting more involved. We are moving, we are catching up with other countries that are, are spearheading on, on, on this uh, uh, revolutionary technology. So uh, I am seeing this is uh, a very important move and um, um, as a government raising a voice on that one, it means even us who are involving or involved in teaching and raising awareness, it makes the, the work easier and a lot of people will understand cryptocurrency. The central bank is currently strengthening the knowledge and capacity of its officers on digital currencies as part of the preparations in anticipation for the launch sometime next year. Despite this, it warns that there are still risks as recently the global crypto market saw investors suffer billions of dollars in losses due to the volatile nature of cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrency advocates say the increase of more blockchain classes could help the country get a step closer to the goal of improving crypto literacy and adoption. And as the sector grows, it will create new job opportunities as many are able to learn new skills in order to remain employable globally.